everybody so this is my face paint setup i wanted to share this with you guys i'm a really practical painter i don't like to carry anything heavy everything's got to fit in my wagon and be super light so i'm lily santoya and i want to show you my practical very simple very lightweight setup and this took me probably 17 minutes to set up on my own so these are corrugated boards it's like kind of like a plastic poster board and it has like it's yeah so it's it's a plastic poster board what i do is i um velcro all my laminated images so that i can change them out uh depending on if it's christmas or whatever season and then i will show you later on um how i actually hang these so I drill holes into all four of, let, let's say, one of those poster boards. That way there's holes and I can put zip ties. The zip ties, I put them in there kind of loose so I can fold them all up when I leave and there's no damage to my photos, like during transport. And on the front of these, I put my Cash App, Zelle, uh, Venmo, all the forms of payment that I accept. That way it's contactless. So here's how I hang them in the tent. I use these, they kind of feel like wire, but they're coated in like a rubber. I found these at Walmart. And I just use two for the top and one on the side. So it ties to the side of the leg. So when it's windy, nothing moves. Like I promise, nothing gets knocked down, they stay there. These chairs are from Ikea. They're super lightweight. I think they're like $8 each at the time. <clears throat> so I have uh, several of these super light I can carry them which I'm pretty much a weakling so here we go and I sit in them so a lot of um, larger people they're like I'm not gonna fit in that I'm gonna break it and I'm like no I use it myself I've been using them for years it will definitely hold you up so now this is my banner I have uh, two 10, they're, um, 10 foot banners and then I take Penelope out, my kit, and I go ahead and set her up. And again, you guys, I do this all by myself. I don't have anyone helping me. I do this on my own. Um, I don't really have a lot of family and my brother, my sister, you know, they work too full time. And so everybody's pretty busy around me. So I just, I had to make this work so that I could do it on my own and didn't need any help. The tent is already part of the particular park that I'm contracted with. So they set it up for me and tear it down. So here's my banner. I'm going to show you how I tie it up. And the wind does not knock any of my stuff down. I've, you know, had many, many years of trying to figure out how this would work so that in any kind of weather, you know, I could still keep painting. <laughs> so here's one side. I'm going to do the other side for you. My lovely videographer is Scarlett, my daughter. She's super kind today. She was off today. So um, I said, you know what? Do you mind filming me? You know, so I can share this with other um, artists, let them know how I set up. So my banner is kind of long, so I wrapped it around. Then I wrap this uh, bungee cord around and I make sure that it's in that knob. And then it, it stays, it does not move from there. I used to use bungees, but I feel like it gives it too much slack. Kind of like this, so I use a third, um, a third tie to put in the center. Because luckily Vistaprint, you know, they um, ask you how many grommets you have and I make sure to, to put all the grommets. <laughs> so I tie it through, use the knob, go around, all the way around and just let it lock on the bar there of the tent. And it looks fine. You can tie the two bottoms of the banner. I typically don't. I let the wind kind of move it a little bit because um, if you kind of tie it, too tight it'll create a sail and your whole tent will leave if you don't have weights so luckily today we don't have very much wind it's actually really humid and hot so i'm kind of frustrated 
<laughs> like I'm, I'm so like I got sweaty so it was, ugh, it was gross anyway so this is my plastic chain it is plastic um, and I put bungees on the ends and then I yep hook it on there and then hook it onto itself and this is really an incredible chain it's super lightweight it works every time people get close to it but they don't cross it so I just let it rest on the not on the um, clips there of the tent legs and it works great I love those so the banner keeps people out from that side the plastic chain keeps the people out from the other side too because I kind of don't want everybody on top of me while I'm painting so we try to create one entrance one exit and here I'm just tying the bottom of those uh, those wire like with rubber I'm just tying them to the side of the the leg so they won't move when there's wind and everything is waterproof too no matter what gets wet because it did rain on us uh, this day um, and everything was wipeable it was fine nothing got ruined so here we have these awesome lights from Amazon. They clip on, they have three different settings and you just charge them up with your micro USB and they're, ba you know, uh, um, not battery operated. You charge them and they're awesome. They clip onto the kit. This is my stool. This I found also at Walmart and I use that for henna actually. So I don't want to have an extra table for henna. I just want, but I do, don't want to hunch over either to try to reach someone. So I really like having that lightweight stool. So here I'm going to set up my chairs. This is how the child sits. I have them facing away from me. So I kind of learned that um, from Ronnie Mena because I don't want kids coughing and sneezing on my face. So I point them in the other direction. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is my henna stool. I put it in front of me when someone says they want henna. They put their hand and I'm not hunched over. I'm ready to go. So for my height, it does work. I'm not sure that it would work for everyone's. I put my drink there because sometimes kids will grab my stool if there's nothing on it. So I just use it as a drink holder, you know, while I'm face painting. Here's Penelope. So... Here we go, I'll show you what all I have in here. This is the metal part that did come with my crafting go. I did order it. I have my Instagram. They can Venmo, cash at me, all the ways to pay me. On the other side, I have both my face paint and henna menu. And I hold them onto this metal sheet with a magnet. I just throw it on there and they stay up. So, and also on this sign, you'll, you'll notice it says, please remember to give the artist space. It does help. Typically, I don't know why dads notice signs before moms do, but they do. So, I also have another sign. I'm going to pull it out here in a second. And it's a sign that basically says, please don't touch Penelope, which is my kit. She's expensive. She's fragile. And believe it or not, you guys, it works. So, I use a binder clip. Binder clips are my best friends place it right there next to where they pay and it keeps them from this area too like they'll see it and then they'll be like oh and then they'll stay away which is great so and that prevents kids from grabbing putting their hands in this is my tip jar and I put all the little things in here so that it fits in my craft and go on travel um, this is a great tip jar. I love this thing. I think it was like a spaghetti noodle holder from Container Store. I believe it was. So I have hand sanitizer for the henna. That's what I used to clean before I do henna. I have these um, cups here for clean water, soapy water. One, two, three, four, five. This is Johnson & Johnson's baby shampoo. And the reason that I use it and not like a dish soap is because there's cotton swabs. Just in case I mess up. Um, I love baby shampoo because it's less likely to give a child allergens or allergies. So my business card holder here, I placed magnets on the bottom and on my kit itself. So here I placed a tip jar sideways. I have my mirror back here, baby wipes. 
these are all my binder clips the binder clips um they're gonna hold henna cones up here and they're also gonna hold my sponge bags my trash bag what else and the cotton rounds that i use for henna so these are clean sponges That goes on the side just clip it right there with the binder clip none of my stuff has fallen you guys i've been doing this for years and years and years and the binder clips stay this is a doggy bag like where you put little doggy bags and I, that's what i use as my trash bags so i take one out and fiddle with it a little bit to open it but i really love these um they're small I never really fill it up all the way. That's just me personally. Um, and I do henna and face paint. And then at the end of the day, I just throw it away in the trash can. So here we go. Another binder clip. And that stays off to the side. I'm right-handed, so everything goes to my right side. These are new rainbow cakes because this one is pretty used. So I had to get another one. I just have to put a magnet in the back. I love Leanne's collection. Oh my gosh, her stuff is so great. So I'm just gonna put these little things here off to the side that don't have magnets on them. This is my brush holder. I don't carry a ton of brushes with me. I think this is actually more than I need. I typically only use like six brushes maybe at the most. But I like to have extra just in case. Then that snaps back and I put it right there. And I try to make my kit a space so that people don't are not inclined to put their cups or stuff there. And this is my dirty sponge bag. So we'll go ahead and clip that one as well. There we go. Take this off. Because sometimes I leave and my paints are wet because it's pretty humid. So I like to have a, a spare rag there. And then this rag... Oh, sorry. This is my water container. Um, I will fill my cups with it. And luckily at this park, I'm able to just refill it all day long. There we go. And I refill this as my spray for water. That's my hand sanitizer. There we go. And there, that way, nobody's inclined to put stuff on my kit. Like, it's stuffed. <laughs> So I love this rag. It's like a gym rag from when my kids were in middle school. And I always hung on to it. I really like the shape of it, like the length of it. But I, I cannot find another one. So, I mean, I rewash these rags all the time, make sure they're sanitized. So here are my henna cones. And the black one you see here is going to be Jaguar. I really love it. It's super safe. It's natural Jaguar. It's uh, Jaguar is a berry. And it's basically the juice of the berry and it stains like a bluish back. It's so cool. All right, this is my backpack. I just want to show you ladies. Um, I have some snacks in here, extra cotton balls, um, some tape, lady things, my allergy medicine, and other signs that I may or may not need. <clears throat> so I love having this little backpack. It's also from Walmart. <laughs> And I use it even when we go, like, you know, to the flea market or wherever. I, I love that bag. So here we go. My awesome videographer is going to give you a, a look all around the my setup here. One thing I wanted to show y'all is these lights. I won't need them today. I'm only here six hours. But these are awesome. They're on Amazon. And they clip right here. And... There you go. One, I'll have one pointing towards my kit so I can see what I'm doing or grabbing. And this other one, I'll put it here on the other side. <clears throat> and this second one is going to point towards the child's face. So again, there's three settings so you don't have to blind them, you know. But at night when it's all, like super dark, it's like it's not bothersome. So I really like those. I'm going to try to post the link in the description if I can find it again. And it's great because, look, you just squish it and it fits right in the bag. So this bag I do carry around um, only with my tent setup is extra, uh, you know, cords in case I take a fan. 
um, charging your phone, which I never have to do luckily because the iPhone, it's awesome. This tape uh, suggested by Gretchen Fleener, which is awesome, also on Amazon. It says stand here and I love those for like free events because people typically don't listen at free events. <laughs> So here's my JBL speaker. I love this speaker. The carrying case on it is from Amazon. So this is how I tie it in. I pull it up, put it through it, the cord, turn it on, and then put it here. The wind doesn't move it. The rain won't get it because it's covered. And then also people are always asking, where's that music come from? Because <laughs> it's hidden. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope some of these tips helped. Just wanted to share, after we worked, Scarlett and I, we went using the scooters all around downtown. We had dinner. It was a great day. Thank you guys for watching, and check me out on IG if you want to. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.